In this unit, we are going to create a simplified version of GSERGO or just the Sergo soil database for Cedar Creek. So let's go ahead and add the Cedar boundary. So Cedar boundary is provided to you. So I'm going to select this in the catalog pane, drag it and add it on top of the map unit polygon. So this is the Cedar Creek boundary and what we are going to do is we are going to create a Sergo soil database for this watershed and we don't need all the tables that we have. So to create the curve number grid, the most important attribute that we need related to soil is the soil hydrologic group and that soil hydrologic group is stored in a table called component. So what we are going to do is we are going to only include the map unit polygons that are inside the Cedar Creek boundary and the component table. So we can relate the map unit polygons to the component table and extract the soil hydrologic group. So to do this, let's go ahead and create an empty geo database inside our working folder. So to do that, I will go to catalog pane here inside the folder where I have all my data, I'm going to right click and say new file geo database. I'm going to name this database as cedar underscore sergo because we are creating this for Cedar Creek watershed. Inside this geo database, I'm going to create a feature data set called spatial to store the spatial features. So go right click on cedar underscore sergo dot gdb say new feature data set. Let's call this feature data set as spatial and we are going to assign UTM 16 North which we have for cedar boundary and then run. we can go to catalog so we have cedar underscore sergo gdb and we have the special feature data set and it already has the projected coordinate system of utm zone 16 north we imported that special reference from cedar underscore boundary so if you right click and check the special reference for cedar underscore boundary you will see that it has UTM zone 16 north. The GSERGO database also has a coordinate system, but it is not 16 north. So if you go to spatial reference, you will see that it has Albert equal area conic. So it doesn't really matter because we are going to export some of the features that we need into our spatial feature data set that has the coordinate system we want. So say OK. So what we are going to do now is we are going to import all these map unit polygons inside this spatial feature data set. Now to do that there are multiple ways. One way is simply import. So if you right click on spatial there is a function here that says import feature class and what that will do is it will import the, the feature class which is map unit polygon into our spatial feature data set. Now we don't need all these polygons so what I'm going to do is to simplify our process later I'm going to select only those map unit polygons that intersect the cedar boundary and once I do that selection and when I do the import, only the features that are selected get imported into our cedar under Sergo geo database. So let's go ahead and do that. So one way is to import. The other way is 
Again, after selecting all the features that are intersecting the cedar boundary, you can right click on the map unit polygon and then you say data export features. So you can either import it by right clicking on special or you can export it by right clicking on map unit polygon. So either way should work. Before we do that, let's go ahead and perform the selection. To do the selection, we will go to map and then it says select by location. So I'm going to use this option. So we want to select features from map unit polygon. So these are our input features. The relationship is intersect and the special features that we'll be selecting is cedar underscore boundary. And we really don't need to worry about the search distance and selection type. So selection type by default is new selection and select run. Now you can see that only these features that are intersecting cedar boundary are selected. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to right click on map unit polygon, go to data, say export features. The output location by default, it gives us the same geo database where the map unit polygons are stored. I'm going to change that to our cedar underscore GDB and inside that we have the spatial feature data set. So that's where we want to store that and we are going to name our output feature class as cedar soil. And then everything else remains unchanged, say run. And let me unselect all the features. So clear selection. And uncheck map unit polygons. Then you will see that we have only map unit polygons that were intersecting the cedar boundary. There are still some polygons that go beyond the cedar boundary. We will clip those later. Okay. So if I go to my catalog and look at the geo database, cedar underscore geo database, now I have the cedar soil feature class stored inside spatial. Next, we are going to import the component table from the original Sargo geo database. To do that, I'm going to right click on cedar underscore Sargo GDB import table and then I'm going to browse to that component table. So that is inside folders C and grid G sergo underscore IN that's our original GDB and from here I'll pick the component table and output name we can keep it as component We want all the columns and say run. And if you go to catalog pin, now you will see that we have cedar underscore soil. We have the component table. So we have the geographic features we need. We have the table from where we are going to extract the hydrologic soil group. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to clip cedar underscore soil by using the cedar boundary. And then we will get rid of all the other small polygons that are outside the cedar underscore boundary. So to do that, let's go ahead and also extract import cedar underscore boundary inside our geo database. So to do that, I will right click on special import feature class input features is cedar boundary. 
and output we will give same name cedar underscore boundary and say run so we have the boundary we have the map unit polygons intersecting the boundary and we have the component table in the next unit we will perform a clip by using cedar underscore boundary and cedar underscore soil and then we will also relate cedar underscore soil with component and get the hydrologic soil group stored inside the cedar underscore soil feature class or the new feature class that we will create after clipping so this is it for this unit in the next unit we will perform the clip and create a relationship between component and the map unit polygons